Oh my god, I'm actually so embarrassed. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I've got an organization video for you guys today, which I'm so excited to film. And I know you guys really like these videos, so hopefully this will be satisfying for you to watch because I've got quite a bit to organize. And I've been really putting off organizing these things for a while because I was like, I kind of need to dedicate a day to it. And I just haven't really had enough time to dedicate the day. So today's day. We're gonna go through my linen cupboard, which is back there. Also pre-warning, the linen cupboard doesn't even look like a linen cupboard at the moment. It basically just looks like a dumping ground because it's that one area in the apartment where we just shove everything and then shut the door and just pretend that it doesn't exist. So brace yourself for that, but hopefully we'll have a good transformation. So I guess I'll show you guys the before. This is our linen closet, which actually is a pretty decent space, but oh my God, I'm actually so embarrassed. <laughs> Here we have the towels and the bed sheets. Down here we have we have like a bunch of filing stuff over here, which I need to actually put in my filing cabinet. Then I don't know what all this stuff is. Down here we have some baskets, and these were organized when I first moved in. I had like camera equipment, audio equipment, and stuff like that in there, but now everything's kind of mismatched. Then we have some like leftover containers that didn't fit in the cupboard, some toiletry bags back here. Then down here we have this kind of like miscellaneous tub with a bunch of random stuff in it. We have some toilet paper and paper towel. Down the bottom we have some blankets, my cricket machine, a airbed, and that is everything that we can actually see, but obviously there's so much more in there. So today's big mission is to go through this and organize it. and that took me about 20 minutes but as you can see I've got like little piles all over the apartment I've kind of roughly categorized everything so here we have like the technology bits we have toilet paper and paper towel books travel stuff a bunch of birthday cards which I like to hold on to for a little while but I don't like to keep them forever otherwise I'd have like an abundance of cards then we have some game stuff this is still random, I need to go through that. We have like my little temporary filing section. Around here we have like a gym and wellness section. Here we have home and organization bits. Then up here we have my cricket machine and some bits that go along with that. I really wanna not put it back in this cupboard and have it out on display somewhere just so I use it more because I find when things are tucked away in the cupboard, you don't reach for them as much. We have some random bags, my oodies and onesies. This stuff is kind of all things I need to throw away. Up here we have a bunch of technology boxes I need to go through and work out if like I need to get rid of them or if I want to sell something and put them back in the box. Around the corner we have all of our blankets, the airbed, towels and our linen. We definitely don't need this many towels for just two people so I'm definitely gonna get rid of some of these. Time to declutter. It might be hard for me to talk it through with you guys, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. But what I'm gonna do is go through each pile that I've made and then separate them into three piles. So I'm gonna have the keep pile, the donate, and the throw away pile. And also in this process, I'm gonna rehome some things and move certain items to different areas because some of the things that were in that cupboard definitely didn't belong in there, like mugs, for example, and then also like all of my filing stuff can be moved into the office. So that is the next step.
impressed with myself because I've just found a way to fold my Udi. If you don't know what an Udi is, it's like that wearable blanket. A lot of people wear them in winter. It's way too hot at the moment in Australia to wear them. I've got two and I want to keep both of them so Brayden and I both have one for winter. But they take up so much space because they're so big and bulky. So I figured out a way to fold them up. So pretty much I just found this hack for normal hoodies and I tried it with the hoodie and it worked as well. So you just wanna lay it out flat, fold the arms inwards, just like this, then fold it over, just like that. Fold it the other way. And then you wanna take the hood and this is the tricky bit, but you want to try and put the rest of the hoodie inside the hood. Just make sure you hold the other end really tightly so it doesn't open up. And then you can kind of like push it in the hood. There you go. They're so much less bulky. I might actually try it with my onesie as well. Like, do I want to keep this? I don't know. Do I need two hoodies and a onesie? I don't know. Okay, so update. I've actually managed to get rid of quite a lot of stuff, believe it or not. And I've managed to fold up my bed sheets and put them in like little, little kind of burritos, I guess. This is a really good hack if you're wanting to save some space and if you're wanting to have like the whole sheet collection together. So what I did is I just folded the sheets as normal and then I took the pillowcase and wrapped it around the sheet. So I kind of made like a little burrito and now it's all compact. I've just got a doona cover here and then we have like our winter sheets here. So that's all sorted. These are all of my cameras and my camera equipment that I'm gonna keep. Then here we have like kind of like a home maintenance section. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna organize it yet, but we'll figure it out. Also, like, am I meant to keep all of these Allen keys? Whenever I get an Allen key with like a flat pack, I always feel like I should keep it because they're, they're always different sizes and it's always <laughs> handy to have some. So maybe I need to get a proper toolbox. Then we have some more technology down here, mainly audio equipment. Around here we have a little travel section with packing cubes, adapters, a portable charger, and a neck pillow. These are all of like the toiletries bags and sunglasses cases that I decided to keep. I actually culled quite a few because you just don't need too many, but you do need a few. I also got rid of quite a few towels and only left probably about like five. And I got rid of my round towels. If you guys still have round towels, do you still use them? Because I used to use round towels all the time but like to be honest they're quite inconvenient so I decided to get rid of them then we have like my gym slash wellness section so we have my sharky acupressure mat and we just have gym towels I never know where to put these so I figured it would be good to create like a little gym section which has like ankle weights in it my pilates socks and then also some booty bands I just thought that would be so helpful to have it all in one area around here we've just got the blankets that I decided to keep, I only got rid of one, but I folded everything together. And then this is like a bit of a junk pile that I need to sort out and get rid of, but I know all of this has got to go. Also, I know this isn't always the best thing to do, but I kind of made a too hard basket. So it contains a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna deal with on another day. So it's got like technology bits in there that I need to go through and potentially sell or get rid of. And I've also got miscellaneous cords and stuff in there that I need to go through and like try and figure out if I need to keep them or if I don't need them anymore. I feel like everyone has random cords in their home because they can't figure out if they're going to need them for something or not. Personally, I always forget what I need the cords for. So I just hold onto them just in case, but I'm not going to do that. So I decided to put those things in these two baskets here and I will go through them. Also, what I have been doing as I've been going is writing a list on my phone of the ways that I want to organize each section. So I've just been coming up with like different organization ideas. So now my plan is to put everything back in the cupboard, but not permanently. I'm just gonna put it back in there to try and figure out where I wanna place things. And then I'll figure out how much room I have for different boxes. Then I wanna go to the shops and do some shopping and pick up some containers. So this is how it's going. As you can see, it looks a lot more organized already, but I do need to get like baskets and stuff just so I can separate everything. Since I last spoke to you guys, I did the measurements of the cupboard and I've worked out which baskets I wanna get. So I'm gonna get everything from Kmart, permitting that they have everything in stock, fingers crossed. I was gonna do a click and collect and it does say that everything's in stock, but I just don't really trust that because sometimes it says stuff's in stock and it's not actually in stock. So I'm gonna head to the store in a moment myself and have a little look around. I'm gonna need a big trolley because <laughs> I've chosen quite a lot of stuff. I've just got home from Kmart and the stock actually was really, really good. So I'm super happy with everything that I got, but I'll go ahead and do a quick haul. So first of all, I got this 24 component storage box, which I'm going to use to store like a bunch of chargers and wires and just 
all of that kind of stuff that doesn't really belong anywhere. I think this is going to be so helpful because storing charges is honestly so tricky. So I'm just going to like label each box on the lid and I think that will be really helpful. Then I ended up getting seven of these linen look storage boxes in beige. I did plan on getting nine of these, but they actually only had seven in stock. But I think that should be enough anyway, fingers crossed. I did end up getting another box to store like the household maintenance stuff in. So I won't need to store that stuff in like one of these linen storage boxes anymore, which is good. So what I'm gonna put the household like maintenance stuff in is this, it's a storage caddy. It kind of looks like a little toolbox, but it just is a lot prettier. So this is what it looks like. So I thought this would be a great thing to organize that stuff with. Then I picked up three of these baskets with the bamboo frame. They're just gray and yeah, they're a really good size. I really hope these pop up easily and they're actually quite sturdy. They had really good reviews on the website, so I have high hopes. And then as for the blanket baskets, I ended up getting these two. I just thought they would tie in the colors really nicely and they should fit nicely in the space since the material is easily like collapsible, so should mold quite nicely. And that is everything that I picked up. I'm gonna go and pop everything away in their new homes now and I'll time lapse it for you guys. Tanea Braden's sister is actually staying the night tonight, so I won't do too much talking because I think she's watching TV in there and we'll just like be chatting and stuff. So I'll pop you on a time lapse and we will see how it turns out. I'm honestly so excited and so happy that I managed to do all of this today because I don't know, I just didn't think that I would manage to get all of this stuff because previously when I've done organization videos like this, I have struggled to get everything that I wanted from Kmart. So I'm very happy about everything that I got. the next day I'm gonna continue on finishing off the linen cupboard this morning I don't even think I should call it a linen cupboard because it's not really just that like it's kind of just additional storage for us but I'm so happy with how it's looking I feel like the colors look really nice everything matches very very well but I'm not done yet I still want to put all of the cords and charges in this little divider box and then I'm gonna get cracking with labeling everything. All right, so I'm gonna go and get all of the cables out and we'll get started with doing this. I feel like this is gonna be such a game changer. So it turns out I didn't have that many cords that fit inside this box. I had a few and I think it will still be really handy down the track just to have this, but I am gonna to go to Kmart and get another one of these, but like one with bigger squares, probably like the size of all four of these squares together so I can fit this stuff in there. And then I'm also going to return this storage caddy because I really didn't like it. It wasn't really a great use of space. So I'm going to go and do that now because I know it will be one of those things that sits on my to-do list otherwise. I'm home and let's see if this fits everything a little bit better. I feel like it will because there's so much more room in each little spot. It's called the eight compartment organizer. I don't have too many cables, so that's a good thing. I honestly could probably fit a few in the same one if I really wanted to, but this is a really good hack if you guys are wanting to find a way to organize all of your cables. I'm even gonna put my Apple Watch in here because I don't wear it all that much these days, if I'm honest. I wanna get back into wearing it, but I don't really have like a good spot to leave it at the moment, so I think I'm just gonna keep it in here. I literally fitted everything. Perfectly. I'm currently just making some labels. You can't see here because I haven't cut them out yet, but I've just done some of them. I'm just using this vinyl. I used the black permanent vinyl. So all I'm doing is just like writing up the names of my labels in the Cricut design space. And then that connects to my Cricut and cuts it out on the vinyl. I honestly love it so much. It's so satisfying. I'm seriously obsessed with my Cricut. I'll show you guys. So you pretty much just press make it. Then I'm just gonna type in my vinyl, click on that, press done. Then I just press this button and it loads it all in, scans it, and then when it's ready to go, 
press the C and it starts to cut. So it's day three of this whole process and I finally finished. I did all of the labeling last night and it really does make such difference, but it is quite time consuming when you do it with the Cricut yourself, but I just think it's so worth it. So I'm really happy with how everything's turned out. I will do the after for you guys in a second, but before we do that, I quickly want to insert the before just so you can remember the mess that it once was and then I'll insert the after. is the grand reveal. Okay, so I guess I should give you a bit of a tour. By the way, I'm really, really happy with the color scheme and all of the baskets that I chose. They fit really well and I really like all of the colors together. So first of all, we have these baskets, which were so, so useful. They're perfect for the towels and the bedding. As you saw, everything is from Kmart. So I've got three of these for towels, bedding, and then I've got one down here for toilet paper and paper towel. And then as for these boxes, I've got seven of them. So I've got my fitness box, my camera box, and my audio box. Around the corner here, we just have my acupressure mat, and I like that it's tucked around the corner so you can't see it. I actually already had this other basket from Kmart which is also canvas it looks the exact same but it just doesn't have the strap but yeah that's from Kmart too and I just popped the bags in there and then down here we have containers so spare storage stuff and I've popped my weighted blanket in our Ikea blanket basket just tucked away in there so up here we have some more baskets so we've got the home maintenance travel toiletry bag and tucked around here I just have like another toiletry bag that didn't fit in there and then on the other side I've actually tucked our boxes that contain like our cables and stuff just around here which are going to be so so handy and then at the top here we first will have my ring light around there and then we have two baskets with my blankets in them and I did want to have these down at the bottom but turns out none of these baskets would actually fit through this gap I didn't really think about that but since these are made out of a soft material I managed to like squish them through there so yeah I probably should have kept that in mind, but it works fine anyway. And then around the corner, I just have our airbed, which doesn't look as aesthetic, but you can't really see it if you stand from this angle. But I am really, really happy with it. So much better than before and just like such a good use of space. I've honestly just been leaving the door open, admiring my work, which I know might sound a bit crazy, but it was so bad before you guys saw it. So I'm just wanting to <laughs> admire all my hard work because it's taken like two days. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has had a junk cupboard like I had. I can't really call it a junk cupboard anymore, but yeah, I feel like everyone has a junk drawer or a junk cupboard, but yeah, we forget to sort through it sometimes, but it is quite necessary because it gets so out of hand every once in a while. But I don't think this is going to get out of hand now because there's so much like organization and storage in there. So everything has a home now. Also, I will link all of the storage items I picked up from Kmart in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Just because I know it can be quite hard sometimes to figure out like what storage items to get for your space. But these worked really well. Just make sure to measure your space before you do purchase them because like you don't want to get them and then they don't fit. But that's going to wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it as it took me a really long time to declutter and obviously it took me a while to film as well. So I hope you guys liked watching it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and check out my other social media platforms. I'll have them linked down below. I plan on filming a lot more like organization content like this because I love doing it. So stay tuned for that. My next kind of project that I want to do is the kitchen. I have actually organized the pantry not too long ago. I'll link that video down below if you want to check that out, but I still need to go through all of the 
other cupboards and organize like my plates and bowls and all of my cleaning items under the sink. So that video will be coming at some time in the future. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.